Hey guys, my name is Anne Logan and this is the I've Read This .com YouTube channel. Um, I am recording my first short story advent calendar recap video of the 2020 season. Um, in the past, I've done these every day for each short story, but I kind of stopped that a couple years ago because it was just so much work and I didn't have the time to do it. So I'm just going to record one or two videos probably like once a week um, to just kind of give you guys a recap of the different stories that have shown up in my advent calendar. And I'm also going to open up my chocolate advent calendar on camera with you guys. So I'll first I'll show you my chocolate advent calendar this year. So um, I've gotten a few different, oh, I didn't realize that the bottom slid out, it does. This is what I got this year uh, in an attempt to hashtag buy local, help our local economy. I bought this from a Calgary chocolatier called the Chocolate Lab and I'm really excited about this because so you can see like I'll just show you the the like it slides out like this but that's not how I open it. I open it up through the little windows but they're little bonbons and they're beautifully painted. I've gotten their chocolates before and I absolutely adore them. So because this is, you know, a special advent calendar, not like one that I've ordered off Amazon, it was a little pricey. It was $60, but so far I've really enjoyed all the chocolates that I've gotten and I'm supporting a local business, which is obviously really important, especially right now. So today is December 5th, right? So let's look for number five. Okay, there we go. Ooh, this is so beautiful. I'm going to see if I can get this on camera for you guys because it's so pretty it's like you can see how it's kind of sparkly um they're just the chocolates are just so beautiful and really meant to be savored and enjoyed so i will eat that after uh and this is what the short story advent calendar looks like this year i really really like it this is probably my favorite design it comes with these little yellow bands and you'll see it's got this beautiful blue and yellow color to it and this is what they look like inside and then on the back there see it's you can kind of see it's a, there's a little yellow x for the number that it's kind of crossing off so this was number one so it's a little x on the first letter so i thought that was a really cute detail um this is the last year they're doing the short story advent calendar and I know I'm not the only one who is so bummed about this. Uh, so I really want to savor the fun this year. So the first story was called Over the Plum Pudding by John Kendrick Bangs. I really enjoyed this. It was very funny. It was Christmassy. It was, um, it's basically a satire. It's all about uh, like an anthology of Christmas stories that were never published. And um, the author kind of talks about how beautiful, like how wonderful the stories were and how feel good and Christmassy they were. And then he describes them and they're absolutely atrocious. Like someone about to commit suicide and like Santa swoops in at this sleigh, like just hilarious things. Um, so I really enjoyed this one. Number one. Okay, number two, Aviary by Leslie Tenorio. I really liked this one as well very different feel to it it was about a group of filipino kids who kind of break into this high-end mall and um wreak, wreak havoc on it and uh, the people who are shopping there number three a famous man by katherine scanlon i didn't really like this one i didn't i mean i didn't hate it but it was basically talking around this famous guy and all the monuments that were built to him and what his sort of life was like. I don't know. It was very ambiguous and I just couldn't really get into it. Number four, which one was this? Oh yeah. Four minutes and 33 pairs of sweatpants by Martin Riker. This was sort of a fun, quirky one. It was all about uh, like a conceptual artist who hates and resents her boyfriend. And she makes this kind of weird exhibit where uh, she invites the public to try to fit into 33 different pairs of sweatpants in like four minutes or something like that. Um, and there's this crazy guy that she meets on the street who's in love with her and he never stops talking. Um, so it was, it was a very strange story, but it was really clever and very unique. Today's story, December 5th, Fast Hands, Fast Feet 
by Maurice Carlos Ruffin. I really liked this one as well. It was all about a young girl who lives on the street who has fast hands and fast feet and uh, is very independent. She's like 15 and just struggling to um, survive day to day. So yeah, I really liked this one as well. Um, so I think that's pretty good so far for five days of like three, four of the five stories. So um, I'm really excited about what the rest of the collection has to offer. And I'm really happy with my chocolate advent calendar this year too. So stay tuned. I'll probably do another update next weekend. Thanks so much for following along guys. And I hope whatever advent calendar you have this year, you are enjoying, or if you're not doing an advent calendar, um, I hope you're having a good December at least and trying to make the most of what we're dealing with right now. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will talk to you guys next weekend. Bye.